Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some exciting news straight from Linus Torvalds' desk. Linux kernel 6.15 is officially released. Let's dive into all the new features, improvements, and hardware support this update brings. First up, Rust support expands to cover HRTMA and ARMv7, paving the way for safer, more reliable kernel code. On x86 systems, there's a brand new setQuid boot parameter letting you override your CPU's reported features, ideal for testing or compatibility tweaks. We also get SchedgeX, which counts and reports internal scheduler events, plus enhanced PMU counters for Intel and AMD chips. Virtualization fans, you're covered. VGICV3 nested virtualization on ARM now works smoothly. And if you're running on Apple Silicon, you can emulate v 3 PMU v3, unlocking richer performance data. In the storage world, there's a new API to track mount and unmount events, great for monitoring tools. Block layer encryption steps up with hardware wrapped keys, while EROFs adds 48 bit block addressing. For IO, IOA Euring gets a security hook, giving modules tighter control, plus zero copy network reception support. OverlayFS gains an override stunned in creds mount option, and Fuse now handles file names beyond 1024 characters. Performance and security see big wins. The perf subsystem can profile latency using scheduler data, and BPF programs with loops get better verification. The landlock security module now logs access denials more clearly, and there's a brand new F WCTL subsystem for secure RPCs into device firmware. A hardening feature can seal memory mappings, but it's off by default to avoid breaking apps. RISC-V enthusiasts rejoice. Linux 6.15 supports Bfloat, 16, Zamo, Zelersky, and ZBKB extensions. XFS adds zone device support, and the ACPI fan driver now reports fine-grained states though without full control. Well, the ACPI button driver can subscribe to system events for better wake-up behavior. Finally, new and updated drivers bring compatibility for the Apple Touch Bar, Google Pixel 6 Pro, Huawei Matebook, Ego, Milk V Jupyter Board, MYIR Remy Pi, and HP laptops with CS35L41 audio chips. Linux kernel 6.15 is packed with features for developers, admins, and enthusiasts alike. You can grab it now from the kernel.org site or Linux's Git tree. Just be cautious and maybe wait for your distro's stable repo. And mark your calendars. The 6.16 merge window opens soon with the first RC due June 8th, 2025. If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit that like button subscribe for more Linux updates um, and leave a comment telling us which feature you're most excited about. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.